Hello, Tab Nation. It is Tom, and today we're going to be doing a pretty cool video, at least in my opinion. My opinion matters. Detecting sound with auto hotkeys. I could see this being useful in a lot of ways. The first two that really come to mind is using it for gaming. Maybe detect a sound within your game. Maybe you have like the music off and all the you know background music off but you're waiting for like a specific sound maybe an enemy knocking on the door or something like that oh detect that sound do something i could also see it being useful and i'm going to actually play around with this later and trying to get it to work and see how it does but basically detecting youtube sound you know you're watching a video and the sound stops meaning it's the end of the video click the next video kind of thing. That's where I'm definitely interested in playing with it. I think that would be what I would definitely use it for because there's so many times I'm watching YouTube sitting on the couch and I'm like, oh, the video's over. Now I have to go get up and press the next key. Well, I could just have auto hotkeys detect that there's no sound and click maybe on XY coordinates or an image search or maybe, you know, one of the hotkeys that are built into YouTube. So that's where I could see it. If you guys have any other ideas on what you would use this for definitely let me know i mean those are the first two that really come to mind but yeah let's look at the code shall we we are going to be playing in version one today so i'm going to skip this line real quick just because i want to point this out i probably should have put it as the first line just for this video uh, so we're doing an include if you don't know what that is you're basically saying uh insert code from another script basically a library um, we're going to be using va.ahk, and in the description below, I will have a link to the AutoHotKey forms where you can download this. Uh, this comes from Lexico, Lexi Lexicos, Lexico, not sure how to pronounce that. Um, and VA just stands for Vista Audio, uh, even though it says Vista, that's just when it was made is when Vista was kind of like the main operating system out there. I'm on Windows 10 works fine still so it should still work on pretty much anything past vista uh, so yeah just scroll down right here it says download version 2.3 uh you know for auto hockey 1.1 once again as long as you have over version 1.1 you'll be fine i i definitely know i don't have 1.1 i'm definitely higher than that but i can't remember exactly what version i'm currently running because i'm always playing with different ones but i know it's higher than that so as long as you're higher than those two things, you should be fine. If you run into a problem, let me know so other people know kind of where the issue might lie. So download that. Just put it in the same area as the script, or you can put a path here in front of the va.ahk. Uh, some of the things in here are functions that it's calling upon within that script. I'm not going to really go through those because I think it's like... A thousand lines of code so that's a little bit much let me double check on that let me open that yeah it's just under a thousand so yeah 914 so we're not really getting this is some complex stuff in here as you can see we're not really gonna be covering that stuff I might do a video later specifically on this just showing all the functionality of it but we're just talking about a single functionality in there and that's detecting sound don't know why I minimized that. So yeah, we're going to call upon that so we can get our library built into our code when we run it. So we're going to use an input box, and this is our variable here, uh, trigger volume. You can name your variable whatever you want. Uh, and I just put the text, what do you want your trigger volume, volumer, volume to be? That sounds a little better. And... Uh, I just put a note there saying 0, 0.0 something, and I'll explain that a little bit better. But basically, it, it needs some data from us, and you'll see why here in a second, that trigger volume. So here's that functionality that I was talking about that I'm really going to cover. I'll do a later video on here, but this is basically just kind of setting up some of the functionality, connecting to the computer, that kind of stuff. You know, we're getting some, you know, information right off the bat here uh, that we'll need. And a return, because now we're going to wait to start the script. So we're going to be using F1 today. Uh, I'm using a loop. You know, you can change up some of this stuff to meet your needs based on what you're doing. Uh, but for this video, we're going to be using a loop. 
here's another function that we're using to get the peak volume uh, in the peak volume uh, I have a message box here that I commented out this is for testing your volume peak and that's basically seeing like what your volume currently is set at because even though you push your volume plus and minus up and down it says you know like my volume set at 10 well for peak volume when you're actually getting that data that variable it doesn't say 10 it's more like 0.36 it's actually a pretty long string uh it's like a 10 digits long but it's like 3 point uh 0.36 0 0.58 would be like really high so yeah it's like a weird thing so if you need to figure out what you want your detection to be you're going to want to use that so you just uncomment at this set your volume at where you want it to detect if the volume's over this trigger hopefully i'm explaining that well it's it's kind of weird to explain um but if i'm like okay so maybe uh maybe i have my volume at 20 and if any video i increase my volume over 30 then it triggers because it's over 20 it's going to basically give you whatever message box or code you know i'm using message box i heard that Hopefully I'm explaining that well. <laughs> uh, so then in the loop, we're going to do a while. So peak value, basically, hey, go when you go over this volume threshold, as long as it's greater than the trigger volume, basically saying like, hey, this is why I want you to trigger, run this action. And that's basically saying it detected a sound. Uh, obviously, you'd probably want to keep it real low unless there's like a noise in the game that's like really loud and that's what you're trying to detect you know just play around with that this this is a little bit weird to explain um how you're doing this uh, basically yeah uh peak value here's my threshold trigger volume i'm saying hey that's when i want to trigger when it they basically surpass each other that's when it's gonna say oh i heard that which is what my message box is. I heard that. Then it's going to wait three seconds. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to, I don't want this running constantly on my computer, you know, just eating up. Not that it's going to do a lot of CPU usage, but I'm just going to have it check every three seconds. That's why I also have this down here in case this doesn't hit. Well, it's going to wait three seconds before trying again. That way it's just not constantly going. I, I only need it to check every three seconds. I mean, if you're playing a video game, you might want it at like 500 milliseconds. I keep saying three seconds in all these videos. Milliseconds, I am sorry. Uh, and then here's where uh, basically we're getting that peak value again. This is just the same line up here. And sleep and start over. So basically it's just gonna keep checking if uh, sounds detected. And then I just put F2 exit app. That's just for convenience. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely do a follow-up video going a little bit more in depth on here and showing you more functionality besides just detecting volume. So yeah, let's see this actually in action. I'm going to open a YouTube video. If I can type right, my keyboard is in my face. Or blocked by my mic, I mean. Yeah, yeah, here, we'll go to vlog creations. Great videos. It's your Let's get past this. And there's no place like way to make you reach in closet feel like a walking in closet. Oh my god. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and get this up and running. And here it is detecting sound. So here it's where it's asking. That's why I said that point zero something. So I'm gonna just do point zero three, I think should be a good one for this video. <clears throat> That's pretty low volume. I'm going to push OK. And that setting saved. But now I need to go ahead and push F1. Now, as you see, there is nothing playing on my computer. You know, my mic's not playing onto my desktop, so me talking doesn't actually count as detecting sound. Uh, but yeah, it's checking every three seconds. Obviously, I'm not playing anything. It's very quiet, nothing's going on, nothing's hitting. I'm going to go ahead and play this video, 
and it might take three seconds depending on when I hit this. Yeah, I'll have a medium fry. Yeah, I'll get two McChickens. There we go. And as you saw right there, within like a second, it said, I heard that. So it knew that, but now I've paused it. So I pushed OK. It's going to wait three seconds, and it's going to go back to that checking every three seconds. So once again, we'll just do it one more time. Play that. I got that a little loud. And the uh, order behind me, too. Get the car behind me, too. There we go. Nice guy. I'm paying for the Kobe. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, anything you have a question on, definitely hit that subscribe button. I always appreciate it. It helps me out, especially when you guys hit that like button. helps move my video up just a little bit in that algorithm. Uh, so, yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.